The latest on COVID-19 tonight on the evening news. There are now three COVID-19 related deaths in our area. More than 450 cases across our area. Also, Brazoria County stay at home order goes into effect tonight and limited restrictions are in place in Montgomery County. We do want to stress this is not a full stay at home order there. It's another day of several major headlines. We're also closely following the latest on unemployment. More than 3 million people filed for unemployment in the last Last week in this country. That is the highest number in U.S. history. To put it in perspective, that would be the entire city of Houston and Dallas put together all out of jobs. Now to give us an update from county and city leaders on our local response, let's get to ABC 13's Maya Shea. We're in day two of the stay home work safe order affecting Harris County and Houston. Authorities wanted to give us an update on just how that is working. Now, throughout the Houston area, as we went driving, you still saw a lot of people out. Big box stores, hardware stores like uh, Home Depot, home improvement places still open. So those places are pretty busy. You see people practicing social distancing. However, in the meantime, you see other places like parks where they have literally closed down play areas for from uh, all over the city. You see most of those places fairly empty. That is the good news. Now the city says it is enforcing the order wherever possible. Yesterday, for example, the dealers in Harris County uh, were told to close. However, they are not in that hard enforcement. What they would really want to do is for employers and employees to follow the spirit of the law uh, as much as possible. And we all recognize that when they're when we're working in concert with one another, uh, that will help to blunt uh, to blunt the progression of this virus because people are constantly traveling from one jurisdiction to another. The Houston Fire Marshal's office fielding a lot of requests. The fire chief telling me that yesterday alone they answered about 900 calls. A lot of people having questions on what it means to stay home and also they wanted to reach out and talk about possible employers who did not comply. For now, authorities say, please, if you can stay home, please do because they want to bend the curve. Reporting downtown, Maya Shea, ABC 13. Eyewitness News. Maya, thank you. Now to a closer look at the record unemployment and what's being done to help people in, here in Houston who need work. ABC 13's Erica Simon has the latest. Today, we saw person after person coming here to this Workforce Solutions location off Stella Link trying to use the computer or get some job help. They learned, just like we did, that the office is closed and employees are answering their questions from home. The good news is we've got some important information for job seekers. Things are looking bleak, but chin up. There is some good news. And now is a great time to find your next job. Yes, you heard right. Michelle Castro is a manager with Workforce Solutions. While so many have scaled back, others are adding on. If you can work, we need you in those essential jobs. The retailers are still hiring, and the entire supply chain that goes with making sure those store shelves are filled are hiring. Uh, construction is still going on. Security firms are also looking to to bring on people to watch now shuttered and empty buildings. If you've got access to the internet, Workforce Solutions suggests you polish up your resume, clean up your LinkedIn profile, call your industry's professional association to see what they're offering, and consider getting an online certification. If you think that you're missing a skill that will get you that next job, go look for those videos and do some online learning. With 3.2 million Americans filing for unemployment, Workforce Solutions says the job market it has become competitive. Take a deep breath, take advantage of each day you have to sharpen your skills and get ready for your next employer. Don't panic. That's first and foremost is don't panic. There are still jobs available and there will be jobs available. It may look different than the job that you have now, uh, but there will be jobs, so don't panic. We know so many of you have had trouble signing up for unemployment benefits that you've earned. Our Turn to Ted team has been working diligently trying to help you navigate and break you through that system. He's got some amazing updates and some helpful information that could help online on ABC13.com. Reporting in Southwest Houston, Erica Simon, ABC13 Eyewitness News. Erica, thank you. We're also closely following the rise in cases here in Southeast Texas and the people behind those numbers. ABC13's Marla Carter harder with the latest. You can imagine how difficult it would be. Guadalupe had to take care of her family, her kids, as well as her sick mother. 
Well, now she's on the other side, and she tells us how she was able to care for her mother and keep her family healthy. Guadalupe and her 64-year-old mother just returned from Europe earlier this month. Soon after, her mother started to feel sick. She had a fever. She had the sore throat. She had the headache. So Guadalupe called the hospital. Her mother tested positive for COVID-19. In that moment, yeah, that fear comes in like, oh my gosh, is this going to be, is this what's going to happen to my mom? Guadalupe said she worked to stay positive and took her mother home where she was isolated. At the same time, Guadalupe was also quarantined. I was just disinfecting everything she would touch, um, going in her room with a mask, with gloves. Um, and no one else was allowed in her room. So like I have my son here, my dad, they weren't allowed to go in there. It was just me. And when it came to cleaning. When it came to her dishes, it was disinfecting the dishes. You, you know, we were washing them, but I was like spraying them with bleach um, just to be on the safe side. She says she followed all the rules. And in the end, now more than 10 days later. Yeah, so my mom is recovered. Praise God. Guadalupe's advice? Know that there is hope. Um, and also one thing, reach out to someone. Don't carry this alone. Marla Carter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Today, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee announced United Memorial is setting up a new treatment center for COVID-19 patients. The 46-bed center will be a different wing of the hospital to keep coronavirus patients isolated. She also gave an update on the drive through testing in Harris County. She says more than 1,400 patients have been tested, with about 6% of those tests coming back positive. Do not flush those bleach wipes or paper towels down the toilet. That's the message from officials in Fort Bend County and here in Houston as more people are cleaning their homes during this pandemic. Officials say sewer issues are on the rise. Plumbers say paper towels, flushable wipes, even those baby wipes are causing big sewage problems. So you are asked to just stick to flushing toilet paper. Otherwise, it could cost you hundreds of dollars in repairs. Let's get a quick check of your forecast. Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog has an update. It was another hot day here in Houston. The high temperature hitting 88 degrees, and we've got one more of those left before things cool down for the weekend ahead. We're expecting temperatures this evening to fall off into the mid 70s at 9, and then we don't cool off much from there. Looking for a low tonight of 73 degrees. That's record territory for a warm low temperature, almost 20 degrees above average for the time of year. We do think there will be a stronger Gulf breeze on Friday, which should bring back a few more clouds and keep us just shy of that record high of 89 established in 1935. You look in West Texas tomorrow, you see temperatures starting to fall down into the 70s. That's the Pacific cool front that moves our way and reaches us Saturday afternoon. Look at Laredo, nearly 100 degrees. So as we get into Saturday or rather Friday afternoon, the front's still pretty dry, but once it moves into our moist air Saturday morning, a line of showers develops towards the Brazos Valley. That line of showers and storms reaches us in Houston between noon and 3 p.m. Then by 6 o'clock, clock it's pushing through Galveston Bay and then offshore as we head into Saturday night drying us out for the rest of the weekend. Sunday's looking really good pleasant temperatures mid 50s in the morning upper 70s in the afternoon. There could be a few showers that do sneak in Sunday evening Sunday night as the next wet weather system rolls in. One notable change to our forecast is we've lowered the chance of strong thunderstorms on Tuesday because it looks like the next front's going to roll through Monday night early Tuesday morning and that would cut down that rain chance and dry things out, but it is going to be a breezy day on Tuesday, followed by some really nice weather on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Nice. Travis, thank you very much, and thank you for getting caught up with us on the evening news. Be sure to join us again tonight at 10 on ABC 13. Have a good night.